draft night. It provides hope and for a few thousand Washington fans at FedEx Field, they saw the defending NFC East champs chart a new direction. And we've got team coverage for you. It's about you, the fans. You can go to WJLA.com slash vote now to let us know. Do you think the Washington football team is heading in a winning direction? The results will appear live online and on air as you participate. We do have team coverage. Olivia Garvey with the fans and Scott Abraham with the newest member of the Burgundy and Gold. Scott, tell us about who's coming to Washington. Yeah, Michelle and Jonathan, get to know the name Jamin Davis. The junior linebacker from Kentucky is the newest member of the Burgundy and Gold. With the 19th overall pick, Washington adding another big piece to their defense. Davis has a motor, a tackling machine that can make a play anywhere on the football field. He's been compared to another linebacker, Ron Rivera liked from his days in Carolina, Thomas Davis. A short time ago, Jamin talking to local reporters on a conference call. It's honestly, it's, it's hard to really explain. Like, I'm still in the blur of the moment. And uh, just when everything was going on as far as mock drafts and people talking about me rising up the boards, I, I really don't pay attention to any of that stuff. The same way when it comes to, like, critics and media outlets and whatever. Like, I just never really paid attention to any of it. I just hoped and prayed that I got my opportunity one day. Yeah, welcome to Washington, Jamin Davis. Now, Washington has now taken a defensive player in the first round each of the last five years. Now, if you remember last year's draft, everything was virtual. This year, the fans were out in force, not just in Cleveland, but Landover too. Olivia Garvey with Washington football fans thrilled to be back as the team begins to defend its division championship. Yeah, Scott, with the 19th overall pick, the Washington football team select Jamin Davis, linebacker from Kentucky. Was it a surprise, or did the fans love this selection by Washington? Take a listen. That was very unexpected. I, I think it's a pretty good pick. I think we need someone that's going to be able to, to stop the run. That seemed to be a problem with us, so why not? I, I, I'm pretty happy. I think with the front four in front of him, uh, he'll be able to clear up some tackles. I think he'll be able to run downhill more. And then with our pass rush, I think he'll be one of the better inside linebackers falling back in coverage. You know, a lot of people are upset because we didn't get who they really wanted. But they got to look at the guy that they got. I mean, now you can stretch our offensive, our uh, defensive line out like this and they like trees. It's hard to get around them. It's hard to throw over them now. And, and he got speed. Yeah, when the selection was made, cheers happened. People applauded. One of the guys said they knew that they were going to go this route because Ron Rivera was a linebacker. He's done it before. And people actually were very excited and are excited to see how this guy really transforms the defense, our already good defense, into an even better one in the 2021 season. Scott? All right, Olivia, thank you. Yeah, that Washington defense is going to be scary. And how about our local star, Riverdale Baptist grad and Virginia Tech offensive tackle, Christian Derrissaw is a first-round draft pick with the 23rd overall pick, the Upper Marlboro native selected by the Minnesota Vikings. He will now be the one protecting the blind side of former Washington quarterback Kirk Cousins. Now, just a short time ago, our ABC affiliate in Salisbury, Maryland, catching up with Derrissaw. It's like all the hard work and it's like everything I've been through like my journey wasn't like original journey like how everyone else was like two star kid coming out of PG County um, had to go to prep school for half a semester and then go to Virginia Tech and basically get out the mud and that's what I did and just having that tip on my shoulder and finally getting here it's like I know I'm not done yet and like my foot is on the throttle. Love seeing our DMV guys make it to the next level. Hey, the past few years, Washington's rebuild has come through the draft, coveting a growing stockpile of picks, increasing their chances at finding a game changer, especially after the first round. Tomorrow at 7, must watch TV, my friends, because the last couple of years we've seen day two magic. Terry McLaurin and Antonio Gibson were both third round picks and are stars in the making. They carry the offense this year and tomorrow Washington has three picks, one in the second and a pair in the third. Still ahead, I just spoke with Washington head coach Ron Rivera. We'll share his reasoning behind the Jamin Davis pick. <laughs> 